As we go inside, more secret police files in the Zara Baker investigation. Search warrants reveal massive blood and tissue evidence throughout the entire Baker home. And bones were covered near a county back road. Confirmed, they're Zara's. For the very latest, let us go out to John Miller, editor with the Hickory Daily Record. John, what's the latest in North Carolina? Well, the latest is that those bones that were found off of Dudley Shoal Road on December, uh, excuse me, on November the 10th, uh, they do match Zara's DNA. Uh, they were found off of Gunpowder Creek Road. Uh, there was a hole in the ground that was dug up. The dirt was taken. Uh, I remember standing out there uh, uh, two or three weeks ago thinking about how this could have happened. I also understand that the, the DNA matches DNA taken from the home, and it probably came from some of those swabs that came out of the home on uh, October the 31st and November the 1st. That's when they went in and really did a job on the home, taking those blood swabs, finding more hair and tissue, and taking pieces of the wall and the drain pipe out of the home. To Natisha Lance, Nancy Grace Bertuzer, Natisha, we have been combing through 122 pages today of search warrant affidavits, search warrant returns, an immense amount of information. There was so much blood in that home, Natisha, that they had to call in at the end of October a blood spatter expert into that home. Talk to us about the blood and the tissue that was found inside the Baker home. Well, you're right, Jean. On October 27th is when they entered the home, and October 29th is when they went to court, decided that they need a blood splatter expert to come into the home because there was such an immense amount of blood. Now, on October 31st, as John Miller just mentioned, and November 1st, when they went into the home, they removed pieces of the walls, also the drain pipes and the traps from the from the tub. That is when they took 33 blood swabs, as well as removing walls which had tissue on them. Also, hair was removed, other tissue was removed, carpet fibers were removed, floorboards were removed. So they did a very thorough search of this home, trying to regain any type of physical evidence that may have belonged to Zara Baker. And you know, Tisha, when you say this, what, what just gets me in my gut is the search warrants say blood tissue of little Zara was found on walls in the home, walls throughout the the home. I want to go to Ellie Jostead, Nancy Grace producer. We are finding out more detailed information about an alleged rape, possibly an alleged double rape committed against Zara before she was killed. Right. Well, in these warrants, they reveal that a tipster or a source came to police, said that he'd heard from a woman he was acquainted with that she knew about this rape. She says that Zara was in the home that when the mother returned, it's not clear where the mother, Elisa Baker, went, but when she returned, Zara was bleeding from her private areas, how they phrase it. She also had blood on her legs. Police did locate these two men. They did search the house. We know they did find a mattress out front with a stain on it. Now, one of the men told police that was from his own urine. He claimed he urinated on that mattress. We don't know, however, if police did find any genetic evidence that Zara had been in that house. And one of the two men is coming forward saying that he didn't do anything at all, right? Yeah, that's right. He spoke to our affiliates down in North Carolina. He says that he talked to police for over 10 hours. He claims he took a polygraph test. He says, to his knowledge, Zara Baker has never been in his home, although he said he did know her. He was acquainted with her. He'd met her on Christmas last year, but he claims he did not hurt her and that she was not in that house.